Nigeria switched to driving on the right-hand side of the road on 2nd April 1972 during the military regime of General Yakubu Gowon. The reason for this change to right-hand traffic was that Nigeria is surrounded by countries who had been using the right-hand traffic rule. These countries were colonized by France and they adopted the French system of driving on the right, while Nigeria was using the British system of driving on the left. These countries include Benin Republic, Cameroon, Niger, and Chad. As at then, drivers from these countries used Nigeria's ports and borders, while Nigeria drivers delivered goods to these countries, and they drove on the roads of these countries with heavy confusion. It became so important to make the change. Well, what does Nigeria stand to gain when we go right next April? We stand to gain that we have laid the foundation for the easy and safer flow of traffic between our country and other African countries. We have laid the foundation for, uh, for economic union between, uh, between Nigeria and the other African countries because they are the flow of trade and persons. Before then, if you wanted to drive from Lagos to Benin Republic, you had to learn the new way of driving on their roads. Sometimes you might forget that you were no more in Nigeria and be driving on the wrong side of the road. So changing to the right made driving in those countries easy for Nigerians. And that was why Ghana had to change as well, two years later, in 1974. As you are aware, the change from left to right hand traffic was successfully launched at 6 a.m. on the 4th of August exactly two months today. The changeover to date has been smooth. Accidents connected with it, I'm happy to inform you, have been insignificant, bearing in mind the magnitude of the operation. It was not an easy switch for commercial bus drivers who had to not only learn the new driving rule, but also had to move the position of the doors of their vehicles. Considering that this decision came up just two years after the Civil War, at a time when Nigerians were still building up what they lost as a result of the war, financially, it came as a burden to bus drivers and owners. But to other Nigerian car owners, who necessarily do not need to change the position of their doors, the change was smooth than expected. Thanks to the effort of the Chairman of the Commission on right hand Traffic, Alhaji Babatunde Yose. This is one of the posters we are showing uh, in preparation for the changeover, this will show them that this is an approach to a narrow bridge, this is an approach to a major road, and this is a bed. This is the kind of thing we want to show them. Their efforts and that of the Nigerian policemen made the transition look better than what happened when Sweden changed to right hand traffic. Although the change done in Sweden was done without enough notice, but remarkably on that day, September 3rd, 1967, it likely took more than 30 minutes to drive a 2km road in Sweden because the vehicle coming before you and the one coming behind are as confused as you are. The pictures you can see on the screen were taken on that day in Sweden. Even the day the island country of Samoa changed to left-hand drive in 2009. The times in Samoa are a-changing and the South Pacific island is heading in a new direction. The country is switching the side on which it drives. Straightforward, they might have thought, but the decision has caused fear amongst confused residents. They had to ban alcohol for three days so that drivers would drive with clean eyes within the first three days of the change. But the change done in Nigeria was smooth, thanks to those who made it possible. Thank you for coming by. Please subscribe and follow for more historic facts. <laughs>